Hi, welcome to Seed Plate Eat. My name is Stacy Givens. I'm the chef farmer owner of the Side Yard Farm and Kitchen in Portland, Oregon. And today we have my mom on the show, Kathy. Hey, hello everyone. How are you guys? I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> She's visiting from Los Angeles. She comes up a few times a year and uh, we just felt like making spanakopita and tiropita for you all and show you how to do that. This is kind of a little quick mini episode, but um, for any of you that ever wanted to learn traditional Greek spanakopita and tiropita, this is the lady to learn it from. Uh, what's the difference between spanakopita and, so what's spanakopita? Spanakopita is that you make it with a spinach. Okay. You put a dill, you get a parsley, you put a fresh onions, uh, fresh leaves. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you mix them all together. It's in phyllo, and right? Phyllo, phyllo the dough. Phyllo, the phyllo dove, the phyllo dove, yes, ma'am. So it's and, like, um, it has cheese in it, Greek cheese. The Greek cheese, yeah. feta, the kefalotiri, whatever, kefalograviera, whatever you have them all. Ground up, put them yeah. in the side, it's good, tasty, very good. You're going to love it. You're going to remember for this meat, very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, if yeah. you can't find Greek cheese, you could find Greek cheese at like international stores, like Barber World Foods, if you live in Portland. Um, but if you live elsewhere, check out like your international stores mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you'll yeah. definitely find a variety of Greek cheeses there. Yeah, but, yeah, and then tiropita yeah. is basically the same thing, but The same thing, except, cheesy. yeah, yeah, exactly, yes. As a kid, yes, I knew yeah. it as cheese puffs, like I want yeah, some cheese, cheese puffs. puffs. Yes. Yeah. You put a little dill on the okay. stuff, you mix them with uh, little eggs inside to you beat them up. The ricotta. Eggs, yeah, ricotta, the, all the cheeses I, may, I say before. Yeah. The Greek cheeses has to be Greek. For, don't forget this part, Greek early. <laughs> okay, Greek only. And yeah. today we're going to show people how to do the triangles, right? Yes, it's yes. the shape of a triangle. Uh, we're going to show you how to do that. Um, there's a different way you could do it on a sheet tray if you'd like and do it yeah. in a pan. But today we're doing it, it's called, well, you, you like to call it festival style. Yeah, festival yeah. style. Because when you yeah. go to the Greek festival, that's when you get the triangles. Mm -hmm. And it's like nice little cute little two-biter. And that's what we're making today. So, um, so you ready, I guess, chef? I guess so. Let's just, oh. All oh, right, we're Let's in go. business. We're going to do we're business. We're in business. Let's go. Okay, well, before we uh, start, we need one more ingredient. Okay, oh. hey, we we don't we don't have any of your typical leeks that you, you don't have a Greek leeks. <laughs> that is no good. You see, how she said leeks. Say it again. Leeks. leeks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm Greek. Don't forget. I know. I'm it. translated. Okay. Come on now. It's fine. Okay. I, I mean, growing up, it was funny because okay, I still the one I, you have it here. I, is I'll it a good size? <laughs> I have, I grow Japanese leeks. I go to Japan, oh. you know I go to Japan every year. I know I see the plate tour with chefs and farmers. Mm. I've been doing it for six years. I bring seeds back with me, oh. even though I'm not supposed to. And I... That's a good. Yeah, so they're Japanese leeks. And you know, since I have an urban farm, it's a small farm. Yes. So we grow things fast. If I were to grow your regular typical leek, they're fat, they take a long time. They, yeah, well, don't forget that Greek ceilings always is big. Because <laughs> Greeks are big? Yeah. The Greeks. Big, big personality. Greek personality, yeah. yeah. Well, everybody has a good personality. Come on now. It's a big personality. Yes, big yes. Like the yeah, but uh, ours is uh, lucky to be, you know, good stuff, you know, just to hold it good. Okay. Yeah. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah. So, Japanese leeks, so though, they grow fast and they look like green onions. That's so we're funny. gonna throw some Japanese leeks in this and go mm. harvest them. And then we could talk more about how you grew up and in the village and <laughs> all that good you stuff. Fine, we'll use them today. All I'll right. do your favor. Well, let's go harvest. Benny's waiting for us over there. Ah, the let's dog go Benny's get it. standing right by the leaks. We're gonna so. go get it now? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Add it. Let's check how big they are. Okay, follow me. Uh -huh. So we're gonna take the biggest ones we could find. Oh, we don't want a lot, just a couple what, of What, like three? Like, Three. Okay. Uh, what do you want to But they look very similar to green onions. Yeah, they do. Look at the onions. Come on, yeah. smell them. They smell just like. Oh, yeah. Just have to wash them. We will. Oh, yeah, this is pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So three is good. That's good. Let's yeah, go. that's not bad. Now we're back. We just harvested a few uh, Japanese leeks to add to the mix. Uh, so we're going to cut these up. You want me to cut it? You want to cut it? No, oh, I can cut them. You want to cut it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get the fire started here. So we're going to cook down our leeks, green onions, parsley, and dill, and that will go into the spanakopita. The thing is, like, growing up, like, you never had recipes written down. They're in your head. No, Typical never. Typical Greek mother. Never. And 
for me too. I'll make your food sometimes for friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, I maybe add a little bit more salt or like add, I don't know, or add a little extra this or that or whatever. But uh, I just remember as a kid watching you and like, that's just what I, you know what I mean? It's just, I think a lot of us are like that, right? And that's what this show is about. You'll never get a recipe from me. You'll never, I'm sorry, you'll never get measurements. Maybe if it were baking something, sure, because that's science. But when it comes to this, it's all about flavor and, you know, to do it to taste. Yeah. You got it? Got it. Okay. That's good. Olive oil? Yeah. Greek gonna, olive oil? Yes. I'm uh, going to put them in the pan, yes. Okay, okay. And then, uh, which one would we'll do first? So we're going to do spina first. Okay. okay. Put them in now? Yep. Okay. Let it cook a little yeah, bit, okay. okay? Yeah. So we already went ahead and blanched our spinach in salted water. Here's our spinach. You just get some hot water going, throw some salt in there, and just blanch it for a quick, like 30 seconds. Pull it out, and you're gonna want to squeeze out as much liquid as possible. We'll talk about that when we make the filling. We have a pepper. Some black pepper. Yeah. Okay. Some parsley. Parsley. Okay. And the deal. And the deal. What's the deal? Just kidding. Deal? Like, no, I mean, like, what's the deal? Like, what's the deal? Oh, the deal. Uh -huh. Okay, I got you. Didn't land so well. Here we go. We're going to cook it down. We need a little bit more oil. Huh? More oil, oil yes. more oil. That's enough, that's enough. Okay. It smells really good. Yeah. It smells like my childhood. Yeah. Yeah. It's really very good idea. Yeah. Deal. It's yeah. all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. good. So, what island did you grow up in, Mom? Kefalonia, Kefalonia, Cephalonia. The most island. beautiful island in the whole Greece. It's the most beautiful yeah. island. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All of them. All well, of I've been. Nice. It is all beautiful. Of them. All I've of them. A little bit more pepper. I like yeah. pepper. And it's very small. Yeah, that's it. It's a very small island. No, it's not. It's the second uh, largest in the from Crete. Well, I guess Crete I haven't been to that many one. islands in Greece. Yeah. Then, to me, it was very small. I drove around in three hours. Yeah, I know that, but it's the, the second large one. Okay. You got it. Yep. And it's the closest island to Italy. Uh, yes, yes, yes. In the yes. Ionian Sea. The Ionian Sea. Yes, yeah. yes, ma'am. Okay. Very beautiful there. And you Very grew beautiful. up with how many brothers and sisters? Uh, five brothers and one sister. Okay. Yeah. We all have a great time, we love the family, we love each other, we're joking a lot. We're still joking a lot. Oh, yeah, with my They're brother, jokesters. my brother Ted. I'm coming, baby, pretty soon, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's almost done. Is it almost done? Yeah. So, you just want to cook done. it down until it's a little, it's still a little, a little bit more softer, yeah. A little soft. Yeah. Okay. It smells bit really good. Okay. We're ready to, to put them together. We have our spinach. Okay, the spinach, yeah. Let's get rid of some water. Yeah, that's good. Drop them inside. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna hold the pan for you. Yeah. I don't know. Is that hot? Know, that's it's a little hot. Okay. 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 okay we'll put a little cheese of this. Okay, sesame. Put it back in there. Mm -hmm. so we probably have about. What? I'm gonna guess three cups of spinach, cooked spinach, which that came from a two pound bag. After it was blanched, it came out to just a few cups. Um, two eggs. Yeah. For that little thing we're doing it, we we'll put it more in. As you want, yeah. really. You yeah. like it cheesy? Throw some extra cheese in there. Yeah. So, what kind of cheese? We have feta cheese. Feta cheese, ricotta, uh, ricotta and the other one was kefalotiri, you said? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So, so, that's it. Ah, so, the only cheese that's not Greek is ricotta, because that's Italian. That's Italian, but that's okay. But we're using it. No, we do have ricotta in Greece too, but uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's not called ricotta there? No, they don't call them ricotta. They call them mizithra. 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 Yeah. yeah. That's pretty. Yeah, that's great, huh? Okay. Okay, we're mixing it all up. It smells really good. Yeah, very good. And did you add any more salt or? No, I don't think so. We need any more salt. The cheese is a little salty. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, put this inside, honey. 
Save this for the next for the tiropita to do some uh, yeah. You got it. Yeah, put the cheeses inside too. So if you're making this at home, you want to make sure your mixture is cold before you put it in the Before you filo. put it in the filo, yeah. Yep. Um, the filo was very delicate and thin. So if you had a hot mixture going into that, it's just going to break right through. So you want to make sure your mixture is cold. Same with the tiropita as well. Our it's spinach was already ice cold. Our cheese was cold. The only thing we threw in there that was a little bit warm was the mixture of the green onions, the parsley, the dill, yeah. uh, and the leeks. Um, but I think we're ready to go. You're ready to go. You want to do it or you want to go to the I got it. Cool. That's it. That's very great. That's excellent. Oh, wow. Bravo. Bravo, it. chef. Okay, I'm just going to finish real fast. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. But I'm about to... We just finished making spanakopita. And uh, to tell the difference, because uh, we're going to bake them on the same sheet tray, we're going to put some black pepper over our spanakopita. So that we'll know which one has cheese. Of course, of course. Like the tiropita? You can see the which one's spanakopita. spanakopita inside, yeah. So, tiropita. We have our bowl of ricotta cheese, uh -huh. some feta. Feta, gonna go in here. Oh, it's going to the eggs. Yeah, they're okay. gonna go inside with that, yeah. So we have just a few eggs that are cracked, whisked together, mm -hmm. some salt and pepper, mm -hmm. feta mm -hmm. cheese. The ricotta. Ricotta, what do we have in here? Ricotta, feta cheese, uh, deal, a uh, couple of eggs, you know, mix them together. And salt, pepper. Uh, salt, pepper, a little bit of salt, not too Greek much salt. Cheese. Greek cheese, yeah, I said I'm feta, well, the other one, I can't pronounce it. Yeah. Kefalograviera. Yeah. That. That's good. A uh, little deal okay. for the, you know, for, for the, flavor. For flavor, yes. So just mix yeah. it all together. All together. Okay. And we're ready to roll. Ready to roll. Literally. Let's see, we're rolling into here. I'll get it ready for us. Okay, so very it's gonna good. Be the oh, same. you're good. Thank you, Multi Chef. Thank you. You're oh. so sweet. We're gonna do it together to make it go faster. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. This is the big spoon. This is the one we used before. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll get you a small spoon. So yeah, this is something you could do with some friends. Maybe have a party at your house. Have some friends over. Okay. Might be a fun activity to do. And it will get you hungry too. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I think it's the flavor, the deal. The pepper, I think the, it's the pepper, pepper. The pepper, yeah, that too. The pepper. Yeah. Should I bring this closer to me? That's good. Okay. Okay, okay. Here we go. Yours are like better than mine because you've been doing this for what? like. Oh my God, years? so many years, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to call you yeah. out on your age. You have a lot of experience here. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Well, it's true. Well, you have to love to do this stuff. I mean, to do cooking. You have to be like you're a natural. You like to go out to do cooking. Well, anything you do yeah. that you have to do over and over, you better yeah. hope you love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I almost messed up. I forgot the second piece of phyllo. That's okay. I'm so hungry. I forgot I'm to. <laughs> you're doing good, girl. Thank you, Mom. Oh, don't make me cry now, please. Why would you cry? Because I have no more emotion. I miss your father. If you were here now, you're going to take a lot of pictures for us, too. Like he's not here anymore, uh, that's all. I'm really messing. I know you do. Fix it. It's forgiving. It could be forgiving. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So now we're ready to put these in the oven. You want your oven at 375 degrees. So let's go do that. Let's go. And what, they take about 12 to 15 minutes? No, something like that. After yep. they're going to start puffing and be crispy. Mm -hmm. So our spawny copita and tiropita are ready. They're ready. They're crispy, ready, crispy, hot, and ready to eat. Uh, they were in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes, just until they're crispy. Hear that? Yeah. So we're gonna plate it, make it look pretty. Of course, yes. Gotta, we're ready to gotta, go. 
You gotta make it pretty. We're ready to eat. Okay. <laughs> Watch your sword, Tony. <laughs> so these are our spinach ones, and we put the black pepper on yeah, it. So yeah, 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 that. yeah, yeah. That's our spinach. So we'll do three of each. How okay, very good. God, they're looking good, they huh? They look really good. And then to make it extra pretty, because at the farm we put flowers on everything. Right. We're very, gonna, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. We're gonna put some flowers on it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't care for me. Put anything you want. To. Oh, really? I did the stuffing. I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Well, there we go. Good. Very, very good, honey. Very well, good. Let's eat one, right? Yeah. You ready to have a bite? Yeah. What do you want? Tiropita or spanakopita? I have a, this the tiropita. I think it's this one. Yeah. I cut it half for you. It's hot. Okay. Yeah. Did you try to burn me now? <laughs> okay. I'll have the other half. Okay. Okay. Go eat the flour. Mm hmm. Good. Mm hmm. Very, very, very good. Very cheesy. Mm-hmm. You did a good job, baby. Yep. Good job, Mom. Wow. Mm. Ooh, that looks good. Thank you for being on the show. I love you. I learned a lot from you. And I'm happy that you're here to be on. Thank you for having show. me over here. Yeah. And thank you, honey. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> thank you for watching Seed Plate Eat. We'll see you next time. Yashu! Sagapo!